Hello, everybody. I think I'm basically ready to get started. Welcome again, Murphy. Welcome, Chris. If we go too far, let's shout out the people that followed recently. Thank you, Nweber2021. You're wide open! Thank you. I was gonna say, I remember you from Dungeon Drafters. Never said it as one word, but RHBS55. Thank you. You're wide open! So, we're gonna be getting the final case of Phoenix Wright. I have a very minor spoiler that I saw re related to the case. It is long. <laughs> it is really long. So I'm expecting this to take at least three sessions. So we're going to go as far as I feel like today and then take a pause. There are apparently five major segments to it, which is more than most of the other cases. So I'm not in a rush to complete this. And there are some achievements related to this. And one of them looks kind of stally. That's the closest for the spoilers, other than it's five parts. The rest are just beat the game. I mean, I think I have one stepladder conversation, I think, remaining. But I probably missed one earlier. Phoenix Wright, the dumbest character is the one currently on screen. Yeah, sadly I never really got a chance to do additional emotes. Today is just, this whole week has just been crazy long. I did not expect Dungeon Drafters for seven hours, for example. So I'll see if I could do something for the final couple of sessions of Phoenix Wright, but today nothing new. So I guess with that, we're just gonna go ahead and boot up the game. Give it a minute. Go ahead and pause the music preemptively though. was booted up uh the Yakuza game that would have been interesting I'm glad Murphy was able to help Black Spidey out a little bit with Metroid Prime I don't think I've ever played the game are you smarter than a Phoenix right I mean I would hope so you're wide Oops. open Correct. Give it a minute. There we go, that looks correct. Let's continue with episode 5, Bridge to Turnabout. Because <laughs> not quite Phoenix, right? I mean... Sadly, I think Yakuza does case stuff better, or whatever. Oh, the statue again. Chishishiso, the branch sword. Treasured Korean village, heirloom, whose name means seven branch sword. It's gonna call it the branch sword, it's just easier for me. It is said that this sacred sword represents life itself. Also, Chad, I can hear alerts again. I forgot to mention for people that were wondering. But the branches may appear to be infinite. The choice is limitless. Well, I mean, by definition, they're not infinite. There's only seven. Samba yeah! sounds. Like our destinies, the sword comes to but one end, one merciless point. And when the silver cord, the fragile thread that binds us to this world, is severed, The illusion is revealed, and the applicability of fate is finally laid bare. February 6th, 9.48 a.m., Brighton Company, Lowell Offices. Hey, Nick. Yeah, what is it? Now I've got spiritual powers, unlike you. Uh, sure. 
You are a spirit medium, after all. But just like you, if I don't keep my power sharp, they get dull, right? Um, I guess so. Yeah. Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up. Oh. We're already off to not a good start. Pearls? So, that's why we need to go on a special spiritual hotspot tour, Mr. Nick. Oh no, why does that look like Dahlia in the magazine? Huh? I'm lost. This is the magazine you're shoving in my face. It's the New Year's issue of Occult! It's your spiritual location special! Oh. Pearls look so happy. Maximize your spiritual powers with just one night of intensive training. Oh. It sounds too good to be true. I'll say. That's more like a scam to me. It's at a spiritual retreat called... Azakura Temple. The spirit medium and pearls the spirit small. Nice. It's up way in the mountains, and I bet it's nice and cold. Just perfect for training. Now, I definitely don't want to go. You know, I think I've heard of this temple before. It's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard for even real spirit mediums like us to make reservations up there. Reservations? For a temple? Are you serious? Don't worry. I already made special reservations just for us. Yeah. And I signed up for the special course. Uh, that's nice. And the timing couldn't be better. Since we don't have a case right now anyway. Phoenix, I'm convinced you just don't have any cases. <laughs> Alrighty then, it's settled. Well, come on. Don't just stand there. Start packing your stuff. Yes, Mr. Nick, you better start packing your stuff. Huh? Me? W why do I have to go? Well, we have to be accompanied by someone over 20. Hey, I don't have anything to do with spirit power. You think I could channel as the TV? That was like somewhat witty from Phoenix. I'll give him like half credit. So, um, is there a heated pool at this Hasakura temple? No, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall! Sorry, but I think I'll pass. I hate cold places. What? No way! How can you be so selfish? Come on, Mr. Nick, look at this place. Doesn't it look beautiful? Nope, not going. I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. What the? What is it, Mr. Nick? Oh, is he gonna recognize the person in the photo? Let me see that magazine. This nun. Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? This girl. It's... My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I just want to say... It's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. Honestly, how can any woman ever count on you for anything? You disgust me. But it can't be. She was found guilty and should still be in prison. Mr. Nick? I'll go. Huh? Hazakura Temple. I said I'll go. Yay! Isn't that great, Pearly? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nick. You do anything for Mystic Maya, right? Even walk over burning coals, right? Old cult ears issue received from Pearls, an occult magazine featuring Hazagora Temple. I mean, I imagine she died in prison and this is the setup for the story. I don't think it's I don't think it's a huge mystery. She mysteriously is at a channeling temple. I'm not super surprised. I hope they don't do the... Oh, there's a twin thing, though. That that would make me upset. I'm not gonna lie. Tell you, Hawthorne. Fair warning, I might have had a few drinks. Well, I just came back from Father's Day, so... <laughs> so sort of similar. I knew there was no way she could possibly be at that temple. But, I just had to see for myself. Are we not going to talk about the design of the other nun, Nick? I mean, she's ridiculous looking. 
who this nun really was. There we go. Chris is finally a star of destiny. February 7th, 3.24 p.m. How's the Korra Temple? Main gate. Uh, it, it, it's so c c c cold here, Nick. Maybe you should put on something warmer for a change. Oh no, it's Trials of Mana all over again. The nun's worse than I think. Oh no. Oh, it better not be the... Oh. Actually, if it's a... Hmm. Actually, now that you say that... How tall was that other person? I guess we'll find out at some point. I'm curious. We could see, uh... I think. Is that what she used to look like? With, without all the makeup? Hmm. I don't have a sense of how tall that character was. It could be uh, related to uh, Pearl's mom. I mean, she doesn't have the ridiculous hair, but, you know, disguise. Maybe you should put on something warmer for a change. Old bag? I hope it's not. Well, it's supposed to be cold. It's training. Achoo! Her teeth are chattering so loudly. All I could do to make out what she's saying. Wow, Mystic Maya. So this is the famous Hazakura Temple. Early. I, I... Achoo! Bicycle disaster! Well, well, well. How nice to see you here. Welcome to our temple. Hmm. Give me one second. It actually doesn't even really look like the other character in the photo. I wonder if that's actually a plot point or if it's just a drawing inconsistency. That's what I find myself questioning. Anyway, we'll, uh, I guess continue forward a little bit. Give me one second. Ah, I don't have to worry about achievements for a while. As denoting what part it started in. I don't have anything to worry about for a while. Oh, thank you. Uh, achoo! Oh my my. Thank you for coming all this way. Come now. Come now. You must have been cold. With the past tense. I'm freezing as human popsicles in outer space. Ho ho ho. Well, we are high up in the mountains after all. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Please follow me inside. Thank you. I was starting to think I would pass. Oh, yes, yes. I almost forgot to introduce myself. Her name is Bikini. Is a name you could go for, I guess. B -b 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 Bikini. What? Mm hmm. That's right. Actually, that's my temple name. What do you think? Tradition to, tradition to have one. It's something that has a nice image to it. So I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. Ugh. <laughs> certainly does. Oh, I signed up for your special course. Well, my, my, my. Quite brave of you, considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one with those you channel. 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh. Alright, Chad, here we go. Here we go. I've been thinking about her name. I think I understand, Chad. Unfortunately for this game, I remember one Japanese fact. <laughs> I believe this is a pun on Buddhist priests in Japanese, but it doesn't really make a lot of sense in English, and they gave up. <laughs> I, because I want to say it's like Bikuni, I think is how you say Buddhist priests in Japan. I had to th I had to dissect that in my head a little bit. Jack can double check me if I'm wrong. It's like B H I K K something Huni. It's just H U N I. Reckless. Wahaha. Maybe you should take it easy tonight, Mystic Maya. We could come back another day. But you went through all that trouble to get reservations for... Yes, yes, that's right. You've come all this way, so please enjoy yourselves. There's still time before supper, so why don't you have a look around? Guess we'll examine what we can. Oh, look! It's a cute little bell tower. I absolutely love the sound of a giant bell. Oh? So which do you like better? That or the sound of money? Sorry, but I'll take money for the win, Nick. W what are you apologizing for? Bhikkhu, an ordained male in Buddhist monasticism. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Green makes it look like a pipe. Yeah. What do you think, Nick? Pretty awesome gate, huh? It sure is. Looks pretty well maintained, too. This thing kind of puts your hometown to shame, Maya. Yeah, well, a lot of things have happened in Korean Village. It used to be a lot richer back when people hired us to perform channelings. Oh, I see. But now the place looks a bit run down. Griffy confirming. Oh, there's like special characters in there. I remember looking it up one time on a completely unrelated tangent. I was gonna say, that's what you get for deep diving in, like, uh... Japanese history. Hmm. Guess I was just born in the wrong time. Oh, look! It's one of those snow motorcycle things! Most people call that a snowmobile, you know. Snow motorcycle thing, snow blow meal, same thing. Hmm. Too bad we didn't invite Desiree. But she could race like the wind on this slow mobile. Maybe she'd give me a ride on this blow snowmobile. Ugh, I told you, it's snowmobile. Uh, Murphy also confirming it's written very similar to none if you separate out. I'm assuming the kanji. It looks like the main hall where we'll be staying tonight. From here on, it looks like one of those ice hotels you always hear about. Gotta have a heater or something in there, don't you think? I don't want to die. I'm not worried. On my hot water bottle. Did you bring one for me? What are you talking about, Nick? He carries around two hot water bottles. Ugh. Cold doesn't kill me. The Ice Queen over here will finish the job. Game has literally helped death none, by the way. Interesting. Let's talk to her about the channeling dojo. Um, what's a channeling dojo anyway? But are you being serious? Oh my my, you don't even know that. Forgive him, sister, for he knows not what he's saying. Well, well, just call me Bikini and forget that sister part. Channeling Dojo is basically a spiritual power training ground. We have special holy items prepared here to help people boost their spiritual powers. Uh, holy items? We train an entire evening surrounded by these items. Oh, it's quite mysterious. The spiritual power of these items seems to envelop you. <laughs> wow, she must have just gotten off the trolley from the land of make-believe. What? It, 
Why are we making what I presume is a Mr. Rogers reference? Uh, okay. What is that in Deep Blue, Donna? Welcome, Kirk. Um, so what exactly is the special... You must be incredibly devoted to be interested in that at such a young age. It's also a literal name and also a fun on Buddhist nod. Alright, that I wouldn't have known, so I might be adding more to the puns. It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant a spell. 30,000 times, all while being showered in freezing cold spirit water. Huh? It's February now, right? You have to be careful this time of year. Don't watch it. Catch pneumonia or maybe even die of hypothermia. You be careful, you hear. Ha ha ha! Ho 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 ha! How am I supposed to be careful? Oh no! I knew I shouldn't have signed Mystic Maya up for this. It's okay. If one of the characters is eliminated, I'm okay with this. The other none. Um, sister. About this picture. Well, well, look at that. I say I look rather divine here, don't you think? Oh, um, yeah. Unforgettable in every way. You mean it? Oh, I knew it. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. Ho, 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 ho. The makeup was pretty tough. But Iris helped me out. Iris? The cute little girl in the photo. Looks like, just like me, doesn't she? Just a small temple here, so she and I run the entire place. Really? That kind of sounds fu- Sorry to cut in, but... Miss Iris. Where is she right now? Oh, just listen to you. You haven't come all the way up here just to find a girlfriend, have you? Claire from Pearl. Don't really care about this. No, no, no. That's not what I had in mind at all. Anyway, Iris is in the inner temple preparing for this evening. <laughs> for this evening's murder. Inner temple? Yes, yes, that's right. Iris will be back this evening. Why don't you go have a look at the main hall for now? <laughs> so she's in the inner temple, huh? I rise from the dead. Main hall, maybe. February 7th, Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. To the Main Hall. I, I think it's even colder in here. Achoo! Oh, uh, Mr. Nick. Do you smell that? It smells like meat and gravy. Yeah, you're right. I guess it's pot roast for tonight. Yum. Weird. But they would serve something a little more... Well, traditional. What are you talking about, Nick? I think monks and nuns just sit around eating rice and gruel all the time? Miss Maya's right. Ooh, I just hope there's mashed potatoes, too. I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> What a cute little acolyte. I'm looking at this character and I'm like, hmm. Greetings to all of you. Oh, um, hello. Wow, this lady makes Maya look like a 6.8 on the weirdness scale. Oof. That is a big oof there. Your outfit. Did you come here for the special course too? Ha <laughs> ha Unfortunately, no. Actually, I'm... For saying meat and gravy, pot roast is a traditional dish for the ancient spiritual monks of ancient America. Interesting. All by Pearl going, Ah! You're... you're... you're at least... I... I don't know how to... I don't... Chad, give me a hint on this one. Less last name. Elise... And then question mark, question mark, question mark. Donim, says Murphy. 
we'll go with that. And then the American Monk's the weird... <laughs> that, that wielded Magatama instead of Katata. Oh. That's, that's true, that's true. I mean, chat, like... Is the game being serious with me right now? I mean, there's no way this is not, um... What's it called? The missing mother. What was her name? Misty Faye? There's no way it's not her. You could tell me it's at least... Donim or whatever. Or Dunim. So yeah, the odds of her surviving are like pretty much zero. Yes, that's right. You know of me. I mean, you don't look that different than what I would expect, to be honest, if we're thinking about it. Yeah, you can kind of see the resemblance a little bit. My name... My name is Pearl Fay. I... I'm your biggest fan. Morgan or Misty? Yeah, one of those. That's true. I mean, they're kind of like... I think Morgan Le Fay was the other evil one, I think. I think it might have been Misty. Who is she, Nick? Hmm. I see it now. Zavari. A fortune teller? Oh, don't, don't bring Zavari back. No. <laughs> Let it die in that one case, please. I've got all your books. Miss Donum. Or Donim. <laughs> what a sweet thing to say. And please, call me Elise. Um, books? Mr. Nick, don't you know anything? Don't you even know who this is? Well, um... An author, maybe? And if she's also, like, writing the spiritual techniques, I feel... If she's just a general author, I would give it maybe. It's not, but 100% it's gonna be about spiritual techniques that made her improve. Yes, and an illustrator of picture books. Picture books, huh? Oh, now I get it. Talk to Elise. Um, I'm sorry I don't know who you are. You get a lot of chances to enjoy picture books. It's all right. Take no offense to that. My books are nothing but simple stories for children. And really beautiful pictures too, Miss Elise. So based off of what was said earlier, it could be that the nun was channeling or purposely dressed up, quote unquote, and that's why she did look different in this photo. So I think that will be a plot point going forward. I just haven't decided which. Your books always make me feel as if my heart has been purified. Phoenix doesn't know how to read, but he... He also doesn't know how to read picture books. True. <laughs> Makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. I do have to admit, it only seems like a kind, sensitive lady. <laughs> I, I, feel, I, I feel like we're just waving death flags at this point. Miss Elise won an award last year for her book, The Magic Bottle. Yes. A friend of mine secretly submitted a story I had written to a publisher. They liked it so much they asked if it was alright to make it into a book. Wow, this has been a real great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book too. If I do, you can secretly send it to a publisher for me, Nick. Recently, I've accepted a sort of... Apprentice, you might say. Mm-hmm. An apprentice? He calls himself Larice. Larice... Don't him. I believe he's off doing some landscape sketches now. I have a bad feeling about that. I have a very bad feeling that this is going to be a character we've seen before. On Larissa's behalf as well, I'd like to support- I'd like to thank you for your support. Of course, Miss Elise. Anything for you! Ha <laughs> ha why come here? Um, why did you come to Hazakura Temple, Miss Elise? Are you here to do some spiritual training? Ha ha ha. No, that's not it. Well, I wasn't going to spell it out more directly, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Larry. <laughs> I'm just like, it, it, it feels like a very, very, very lame <laughs> suited him.
I'm actually here to gather materials for a new book I'm working on. Wow! I, I can't wait to read it! Pearls is completely taken with her. I wanted to do a book with a more Japanese feel to it this time. So that's why you're dressed like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their minds. I don't want to disappoint them. What did I say? It's really a sweet lady. Wow, Miss Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun. Yes. The good people here were kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing training clothes underneath my robe as well. I want a staff like that. You like the crystal sphere. It's real amethyst, you know. Yeah, I was like, go ahead, game. Explain why this place is more Japanese than the other places. Hmm? Plot hole? Hmm? Maybe we'll find one like that up here on this mountain. Good luck, Nick. I know you'll find me one. Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to go help with the dinner preparations. Mm-hmm. Wow, you mean you're cooking dinner tonight? Oh. Hold on, hold on, chat, hold on. I had a revelation. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's put on our thinking caps here, chat, before we go into the plot. Okay, so here's here's what I'm thinking. I don't know why the mother is there yet, other than to potentially die. But <laughs> aside from that, Pearls was mysteriously able to get a reservation in a place that is hard to get. So that makes me think she maybe had help. Maybe that ends up being related to the person in prison, saying that they'll make the reservations. Then they might have killed themselves or purposely died in order for them to be resurrected in a channeling. Because maybe the special training where they have to chant on an ice block 30,000 times might lead into them channeling the one character, Dahlia Hawthorne, and Pearl wouldn't know about that character, therefore she would be an unwitting accomplice. That's my current theory. Let's see where it goes. That's right. Would you like to help too, Pearl? Yes, yes. I want to help with whatever I can. Pearl's looks like she just won the lottery. Because think about it, chat. She barely knows how to do anything in technology. I There's no way she didn't get assistance. Oh, I'll help too then. I love them le le 4D level ghost chess plots. No, it's fine. Please don't worry about it. Feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Huh? But... Oh, yes. Please take this. I think it will be of help to you. Is it a layout of the area that we'll use in court later? Of course it is. It's a map of the area. We wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? The inner temple. There it is, on the other side of the bridge. Well... If you insist, I guess we'll take this chance to go check out the other temple. Those house of temple in the surrounding area, added to the court record. Temple map, get. Okay, I'll see you two later then. Remember, you're not allowed to fight. Come on, Nick. Let's go. At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. There are straw Zabadon cushions arranged around a hibachi brazier. Ah, uh, yes, the traditional, <laughs> the traditional American setting. I haven't seen a layout like this since I saw this really old Japanese movie on TV. <laughs> Nice, nice save there, translators. If it wasn't for the sabachi, probably freeze to death. It's an altar. It's a bit old, but someone does a good job of taking care of it. 
I like how we already have a court record but there being no case yet, exactly. Speaking of altars, I remember seeing one like this in Crane Village last year. I guess they really do have something to do with spiritual power after all. There's a laughably large Magatama on the altar. I could see the Cyclops with the tiny Magatama I've got. I can only imagine what kind of power this bad boy has under his hood. Hmm. Anything else we can look at, like the walls? Okay, there we go. But the writing on these sliding doors are instructions for spirit channeling. I like how we scribbled math formulas on the bathroom walls to remember them. Did they do that? If we couldn't go to the bathroom during tests. And I can't read these walls. 10 out of 10, I guess. Alright, nothing else to do in this room. Let's move on. Back to the main gate. Phoenix, don't kid, you don't know math. True. The very 7th, Hazakura Temple, main gate. Huh? Where'd Sister Bikini go? I guess she went to the inner temple. To go help the other nun out. Oh, right. I think her name is Iris? Yeah, that was it. I'll find out who Iris really is. I'm scared of what I'll find. Mm. Suspension bridge. <laughs> I'm thinking something. I'm hoping it's not the case. February 7th suspension bridge. I love how there's like plain text on Dusky Bridge. It's not carved out. Like somebody just literally typed on it. Wow. Look at this broken down old bridge, Nick. Yeah. Look at that big canyon below us. Hey. There's a river down there. Looks like it's flowing real fast. What's wrong, Nick? You look like you've seen a ghost. I I'm just not very good with heights. Oh. Hey, I've got it. Maybe you should face your fear and try hurling yourself off the edge. You know, one, two, three, jump. Might be just what you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, death is a real good way to overcome phobias, all right. Anyway, it sure looks like a rickety bridge. Can't argue there. Probably why it's called Dusty Bridge. Read it again, Maya. It says Dusky Bridge. Oh no, proof he can read? This feels illegal. Well, it's practically the same thing. Anyway, the inner temple's just up ahead, right? Let's go and check it out. Ugh, isn't there another way to cross? Heavenly Hall. Narrow path going off in a different direction than that of the main hall. The sign here is so old, the text seems to have vanished. She says, the text very visibly saying Heavenly Hall. That leads to a wooden staircase that goes down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay, I'll write wooden staircase on it then. You really think that's necessary? You have to be blind not to see the stairs. Oh, why do I feel like this is setting up a plot point for later? Well, it can't hurt. Just pass me a pencil, okay? Graffiti is a crime, Maya. Hmm. They're gonna remember that maybe somebody saw something from a bridge later. But something will inevitably happen on this bridge. Interesting. Can't believe there's a public phone here. Who would ever use it? People who live here, I guess. Don't they have any real phones here? My theory about the darkness from the killer plot has been proven right. It's true, I don't think she could see anything. Yeah, but it took like 20 minutes to walk here from the main hall. It would have been smarter of them to build the main hall here, don't you think? Maybe you should work on channeling someone who makes logical sense, Maya. 
Damn. Some letters are engraved in a roughly cut boulder. D-U-S-T-Y bridge, huh? It says Dusky. Dusky bridge, okay? Come on, Nick. Take a look at that bridge and tell me it's not supposed to be dusty. The sign is obviously wrong. I'm gonna fix it. Now give me a pencil, Nick. Yeah, totally engraved. Like, typeface, almost. Do I look like a pencil holder to you? Hmm. So we can see potentially tracks going to and from. Oh, yeah, chat. Come on, Nick. Why don't we hop across the bridge? It'll be fun. I'm not so sure. Looks like a bunny hopping across the bridge would destroy it. Okay, Nick. Let's try to find a cute, fluffy little bunny and test your theory. That right there sums up the fun fundamental difference between sane and insane. There you go. Alright, well, let, okay, let's let's amend our thoughts. So, obviously gonna die. Obviously gonna bear false witness. Question mark? Uh, we can't see the other thing that I wanted to look at. Oh, yeah, chat. We're we're gonna we're gonna play the game of option select. I mentioned earlier they could have twins, so we're gonna rule out whether or not a twin thing has happened. If we meet her and it is confirmed she is not channeling or seems to be channeling. We know that for whatever reason, they're introducing yet another sister that apparently the family forgot somehow, which is an incredibly stupid plot point, I would just like to state, because they're probably related to Morgan Faye, because they haven't really introduced any other characters it really could be. I don't think it would be under Misty. So it'll be like, oops, oops all sisters. So this could be like the, the not... This could technically be not channeled Dahlia, and it could be yet another character. But we'll we'll see. I want to see what our first interaction with her is, and we're going to rule it out at that point. I mean, I'm still going to be very disappointed in the game for trying to be like, Oh, we got you. Looks like it's about 20 yards to that cliff over there. I guess that's where I'll be training tonight. Do you want to train with me, Nick? And do the and do the special course? I think not. It'd be so great if you had spiritual powers too. Really? I see dead people sounds more like a cause for alarm to me. Wow. Oh my gosh, the sixth sense reference? Woo! Fan myself down, chat. Oh, the pop culture. <laughs> there we go. Inner temple gate. February 7th, Inner Temple Gate. Wow. The bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake. Oh no, earthquakes? Hmm. At least half the wood on the rickety bridge was rotting, I bet. I was gonna say, that reminded me of Edgeworth briefly. Not to mention the last part only had like one board left on it. Phoenix dot dot dotting. What's wrong with you? Face is all green. Can you not pick on me for a second? I'm still trying to get over the shock that we made it safely across that death trap. Just set it on fire. That'll do the bridge good. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit surprised too. Or chop down the supports. Either or. Yikes. That temple is in bad shape. Looks like it could collapse at any time. These people don't use it too often. Oh no, I'm getting like Suikoden 4 vibes with the, the fence. <laughs> This really reminds me of that uh, cloistered house that we went to in Suikoden 4. Is this really where you're going to train tonight? We're saying, wait, no, if we learn how to channel our spirit ourselves, we don't need Mai anymore. Don't do it, Nick, do it. This has to be it. Kind of creepy around here. Like a ghost might jump out at you or something. And then the inevitable triple question mark saying hello pops up and spooks us. Spirit meeting, I'm afraid of ghosts. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? Oh my gosh. We're doing a Lannis Moore set? Oh, oh, chat, hold on, hold on. I gotta fan myself down on this one. Oh, the pop culture. <laughs> I'm actually getting some of these? Wow, that is, that is super dated. 
Is it like rain on a wedding day? Is that where we're going with this? Let's examine more things. Looks like there's something written on it. I can't read it. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, Phoenix is illiterate. But if I had to take a good guess, I'd say it's Inner Temple. What's the point of a sign if you can't read it? Must be tough for the mailman when he's delivering here. I like to think Phoenix just bluffed about reading the other sign and Maya's blind, so she can't call him out on the bluff. I, I think this actually still fits in universe. You still can't read, chat. I guess the sign is a good indication of how long this place has been here. Hey, half open gate. It's practically a welcome mat. Yeah, except the sign in here says no entry. Um, Nick, those are made to be broken, you know. You expect your lawyer to go along with that? Oh, come on. Such an old lady sometimes. Let's just go. Don't blame it on me when Sister Bikini puts a curse on you. Now oh, you've got me scared. Um, let's just forget about it, okay? See, it just looks like scribbles to us from here. That sign could say anything. It could say visitors welcome chat. You could just be lying again. That's the under temple up ahead, huh? Looks kind of run down. Well, it'd be very temple-like if it was all bright and shiny. You're training here tonight, huh? Yep, and everyone will see my spiritual powers. Sounds like your stomach wants to show off its digestive powers instead. Or if the roast is ready yet. Okay, so we're we're gathering clues. Since I've not played this before, I want to see if there's anything I could observe now to maybe give myself insight for the inevitable murder. So presumably, uh, the statue we saw earlier with the seven sword branch will be used to kill the victim, which is inevitably going to be Misty Fay because I don't believe it's anybody else. We already pretty much know who the killer is. Oh, that would be so convoluted, though. Oh, would they do that? Would they try to be, like, prove it's Dahlia Hawthorne versus the other person who's her twin? Is that what the dilemma of the case is going to be? Because they're finally going to get us on the we take the physical appearances of the character, so clearly it must be uh, Maya. Is that where they're going with this case? Hmm. That would support the twins theory a little more. Maybe I'm about, like, 65-35 with it being twins instead of 50-50. Training Hall. February 7th, Inner Temple. Training Hall. Oh, is that Misty Faye on the right? Man, look at this place. It's a tiny freezing cold room. So this is where you'll both be training, huh? Huh? What do you mean, both? I'm the only one. Really? But I thought... Or at least just a little kid. She couldn't handle this kind of intense training. This is the girl who I could barely hear over her teeth shattering. Anyway, the real training room must be behind that door over there. Hmm. Yep, definitely getting the feeling it's back there. Even I can sense that there's something supernatural about the cavern behind that door. What is going on with, like, the weirdly angled room? This is really bothering me. Like... The, the supports are angled left, the door is angled right, and then the floor is... tilted? What a weird... area. Um... Oh, they're playing Dahlia Hawthorne's theme. Excuse me, but... who are you? Ah! You're... Hi there. We're just looking around since we're going to be staying here tonight. Is something wrong? Uh, uh no, it's nothing. I wonder why she spaced out like that, don't you, Nick? Uh, d did you say something, Maya? Not you too, Nick. I... My name is Iris. I'm one of the nuns here at this temple. I'm Maya Faye. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Room definitely needs some renovations, says chat. Hmm. Oh, 
uh, please excuse me. I have some chores to attend to. She seems to be behaving differently than Dahlia. So I'm, I'm going like 70-30 now that she's a twin. She sure is beautiful. A bit spacey, I guess. She's just not used to talking with urban sophisticates like us. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I would dot 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 that too, Phoenix. Nick? That girl. It can't be, but... Hanging scroll. Doesn't look that old either. Ah! Ah! What is it? Why did you scream like that? This scroll... It... It's my mother. Wha... What? It's Misty Fay, master of the Crane School of Channeling. Big oof that she could recognize her mother in a drawing, but not recognize her mother in literally no disguise. <laughs> it's pretty bad, chat. It's pretty bad. Are... are you sure? Yes. That crest at the top of the scroll. That's the special mark of the master of our tradition. So that's what the mark means. Eyes both blind and face blind, that's true. What is it? Nothing. Just that, I last saw her over 15 years ago. Oh, okay, 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 we're getting an ex- we're at least getting an explanation for that. If it wasn't for that crest, I wouldn't even have known it was her. My own mother. I can't even recognize her face. Okay. How- chat, as we like to say, how convenient. How convenient. <laughs> Maya. Hanging scroll added to the court record shows Missy Faye master of the crane technique. How old is she supposed to be? Oh, oh, that's right. Allegedly 19. Allegedly. So for plot reasons, it makes sense. But for other plot reasons, it's still very convenient. Look at this antique dresser. I if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look. Hmm. Nothing. Just a bunch of clothes. Hey, Nick. Huh? Oh, sorry, I was just... thinking. Her hair is in a giant spire, that's true. Oh, about Iris, I bet. Looks like you've been bitten by the love bug, Nick. Are we just gonna say that every time we investigate? The actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like. Fooey, it's locked. Come on, Nick. You know you want to open it for me. I can't. Been in kind of a bad mood lately, haven't you, Nick? Zavari, I know what it is. I R I S. <laughs> Iris and Nick sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. It's hanging wall scroll showing Maya Faye's mother, Misty Faye. Not that old. The crest at the top is the official mark of the master. I wonder if this temple is some sort of connection to the Fae family. Rolling my eyes, of course it does. I think it does, actually. Supposedly, it was founded by a branch family member of the Crane School. That's Bikini in more detail when I get the chance. You're right, the IRS some often puts me in a bad mood. About Maya, the Fae family in general. Hmm. So clearly they... It, okay, so the reason they lock it is because obviously if they channel dangerous spirits, they can't go out and harm people. So who is inevitably going to release the bar lock is the question for later. Back to the suspension bridge, I guess. February 7, Dusky Bridge. Phew, we managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling alright? Hey, what's wrong with you? Ever since we met Sister Iris at the training hall, it's been really quiet. Huh? Oh, um, sorry. 
Okay. I'm assuming this is going to be Larry with that really bad pseudonym. So I'll do, hey, you, wait up. I think he's yelling at us. He must be. No one else around. Do you mind moving? You're standing right in my way. Yeah. Of course it was Larry. What the heck is he wearing? Ugh. Hey, I know you. You're... Whoa. Sorry, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Larice... Don't him. Liar, you're Larry. Your clothes may change, but you're still the butts. Shut up. I'm... I'm... Larice! I'm just here to do a sketch of Dusky Bridge. Alright, so he's inevitably gonna catch part of the scene of the murder. Let's see, Chad. How how long do you think it takes before he paints, like, somebody crossing the bridge? We're gonna be presenting that in, like, day two. I feel it in my heart. Not day one, though. Day two. So it really is our Larry. Not that I get why he's pretending to be someone else. Did he build the murder clock weapon again? No, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the Seven Branch Sword. The Seven Branch Sword is the clock of this game. Especially about his name. What are you doing with the last name Donim? Well, I I just I wanted to start over again. The clean slate. Clean slate. You remember, don't you? Last time. Mass to mass case. After that, I started to realize I don't like this guy known as Larry Butts. And that's when I came across it. The Book of Destiny. Book of Destiny? Do you mean... The Magic Bottle by Miss Elise Donim. It's so beautiful. So moving. So... so gentle. My heart felt cleansed. I was saved. I should buy a copy of the Magic Bottle. Wow. Larry would make a great book salesman. I really want to get that book now, too. Let's give out Elise. It's the most wonderful person I've ever met. Follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. You see? You see? Here's a photo I took of her in secret. Oh, ew. Wow, that's a beautiful photo. You want a copy, don't you? It's okay. You just have to have ex made extra prints. Uh. Photo of Elise added to the court record. Taken by her only pupil, Larice. Just move on, I guess, to picture books. Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. Tell the truth. It's of some kind of ulterior motive, right? Well, what are you talking about? I don't. I don't trust anyone anymore, especially not women. Talk about a bad case of denial. Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't about technical skill, you know. It's also about having a pure heart. And that's why I'm asking. Can you draw well enough to make a whole book? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I wonder. Looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. It's true, I do. When I first saw her, I felt it. Something inside me ended and something else began. Ugh, gross. Oh, Larry. I think you've fallen in love with Miss Elise. Ew, stop hitting on our mom. <laughs> this is so much worse than the context we're inevitably going to receive in, like, two hours. No, you're wrong. It's not her. It's the other girl. Oh, no, not her. Other girl. Uh-oh. I got a bad feeling about this. Alright, so we're going to present Iris, then. Since it did red letters, and then it didn't hit you with the topics. I think I want to present any. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna present my badge. Hey, I know it may not look like it, but I'm an artist. I used to look at anything that doesn't have a radiant or beautiful motif. Picky picky, aren't you? Oh yeah, her! My little Iris. Ugh. She's really pretty. 
This girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. Wonder if she would model for me. Wanted to draw a portrait of her. Yeah, hoping it was a bikini. Nice. Yeah, you always liked those model types, didn't you, Larry? Hey, wait a second. Didn't you say you were swearing off women? How old is Iris? Allegedly 25? Huh? Yeah, that's right. Of course I have. I have basically, but... But? But Iris is different. I feel like... I feel like I still have one chance left at the dream. I will never change. Everyone. Hey, Pearly. Dinner preparations are complete. Please come quickly to the main hall. All right. I can't wait to dig in, Pearly. I'm going to go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris. I also want to have a look at what where Mystic Maya is going to be training. I was gonna say that would be an ultra convenient time if Iris was involved in the in the murder to give Pearl additional instructions. February seventh, seven forty six p.m. Azakura Temple Main Hall. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you sure it's all right to eat that much before your training? Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. And asking how do we even know Iris's age? I think we just guessed. Other things, like, we have, like, articles on the people and it makes a bit more sense. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not really sure for some of the others. Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. Haha, <laughs> no pain, no gain, I guess. Uh, so worried about you. Well, well, let's not dilly-dally shilly-shally. Wow, that is a phrase. You must get ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. Oh, oh, yeah, real, real, the real subtle there, chat. Wink. <laughs> all right, here I go. See you all tomorrow, I guess. Iris, please bring the bell at 10 o'clock for lights out, all right? Yes, Sister Bikini. And then after you ring the bell, you need to come join us at the training hall. I understand, Sister Bikini. Maya and Bikini really seem excited about this training thing tonight. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um... If you'd like, you could come to my room before I get killed. Perhaps we can read some books together before I die. Really? I'd love to. I am... Um, I'm not really good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Ah, uh, I'd love to. Pearls is absolutely smitten with Miss... Gonim. So, Larry, what are you going to do? Huh? Me? Uh, well, I'm just gonna hang out in my room. Can't stand the cold at all. Totally hear you there. That's saying someone in our group should probably learn how to read. Might as well as be pearls. True. Well, Miss Elise, for example, how do you read this? It says gravely. It's kind of a tough word. Oh, okay. What about this word? That's another tough one. It says. Roast. What kind of book is she reading anyway? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll get busy when I'm done, Miss Elise. Well, how much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. February 7th, 9 12 p.m., Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. Ugh. A whole different type of cold up here in the mountains. Ugh. Why couldn't the nearest bathroom just be a little closer to my room? Mr. Wright. Ah! 
Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Miss Dono, are you gonna use the bathroom too? Um, no. But have you seen Pearl? No, not since after dinner. Thought she said she was going to go to your room. Mm-hmm. I know, but she never showed up. I I'm going to look for her. Excuse me. It's at least Onum. Woman is mysterious in origin as her last name. Man, this would really be effective if it wasn't super obvious who it was if you played the other Phoenix Wright games. But the really mysterious one is dot dot dot. Oh. Ah, S Sister Iris. G good, good evening. The really mysterious one is this girl. Um, are you on your way to the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? Can't let this chance pass me by. To try to talk with her, maybe I'll get some answers. Ask about Iris. Um, your sister Iris, right? Yes. So, um, when did you come to the temple? I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, the temple has been my home. Okay, it's now like 95% twins chat. It, it's slowly tilting really hard to the, the stupid twins plot, unfortunately. You've never left? It would blow my mind if it's triplets. I, I That would upset me more than twins, to be honest. Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. Sister Bikini, come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. Ah, oh, I see. But you... Didn't you go to college? Maybe enroll in the Ivy University liter Literature Department? It'll be quintuplets. Remote Battery asking, isn't this the pink-haired murder girl from last Saturday's case? Great question, Remote Battery. I'm thinking this is going to end up being her twin sister. <clears throat> I was going back and forth whether it was supposed to be Dahlia Hawthorne. Who is not in her profile thing for some reason. Instead, we just get a reference of, she reminds me so much of, quote her. A welcome remote battery. No, never had an interest in going to a big university like that. Okay, it's at least twins. I'm locking it in, chat. It is now officially twins. My training is all the education I need. I... I see. But once in a while, when I get the chance, make a trip to the nearby town. Oh, Phoenix Wright is going well so far. Uh, we're kind of... We're almost done, I think, with the first part of 5, but we'll see where it goes from there. And use a computer and a cell phone, too. Dot, dot, dot. It's not exactly something worth bragging about. But I don't see any, uh, any psych locks. I guess that means she's not lying. Please don't stare at me like that. Ask about the temple. What kind of place is this anyway? But it's for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. You seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. Well, admit it, it's a whole different world up here. Glad to hear you say that. Huh? Talking with dead people. Who does it help anyway? I hate it. Really? Why stay in a place like this? Ah! Uh, is something wrong? I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. Guess it's almost 10 o'clock now, huh? See, now we're setting up a time frame. So we know that the victim has now left. Pearls is missing. So she's probably, having received instructions, is attempting to do something. And that's why she ended up not being available for the victim. Then at some point, I guess one person may or may not channel Dahlia? Dot, 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 indeed. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? It's all right with you. I'd like you to have this. What? Why did she just give us a hood? But this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Come to think of it, Mr. Bikini was wearing one of these, too. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. Magical hood said to offer protection from evil spirits. How convenient. Iris is entertained. I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. 
Wait a minute. Sister Iris. Y yes Just now, you call me by my name. You, you said Mr. Wright. How did you know my name? Never introduced myself to you. That's... Sister Iris, please, tell me the truth. You and I, have we ever met before? Mm-hmm. Just a few Cyclops. Uh, Iris. Oh, it's almost 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Perhaps we could speak again tomorrow. Yeah, so okay, so let, let's try to guess the plot so far. So okay, so if we're if we're now if we're now hard stuck on the twins theory, which I think is happening, she recognized Maya and Phoenix because her sister wrote about them and possibly provided information about them. So she might have looked them up beforehand. So she's probably still gonna be an accomplice in this upcoming murder. The only thing I'm not sure about is who the real killer... I mean, the, the quote-unquote real killer will be something. That's where I'm a little confused. I'm just kind of thinking about how this is going to work with just two characters. Because I think Dahlia at this point is dead, presumably. So I'm just kind of, I'm thinking about it. How, do, how does that work logistically? So, because somebody inevitably has to channel Dahlia. Like, I think that's where they're going with this. But I'm trying to think of timeline of events. So Dahlia would have written to her sister to set this all up. Then that would have given assistance for Pearls to get the reservation because the sister would have known about it. So that would have been a reason that the temple would have accepted them. Despite Dahlia Hawthorne having no direct association with the temple, aside from maybe the bloodline. So... That part, I think, is settled, and there could be some minor details there. I don't think it matters. So, once Pearls goes there, Pearls has inevitably been given instructions to do something, and that's why she hasn't shown up. Probably to channel one of the bad spirits? Question mark. Could be channeling Dahlia. Or Maya can end up channeling Dahlia, because we don't know if Pearls is talking to Maya at all. Because we're not seeing the other end of this conversation. But I'm not sure who will quote-unquote strike the killing blow against the other character. I'm trying to think ahead before the murder happens. Hmm. I'll think about it. Something's not quite adding up. Anyway, perhaps we could speak again tomorrow. Gong. 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 I'm a batter saying it's kind of sus. Yeah, there's something about it that's not adding up correctly. Because, like... Let, let's put it this way, chat. From the standpoint of a Phoenix Wright game, are they really going to let Maya or Pearls be the murderer in this case in order to kill the mother? I don't think that adds up. So is there somebody else that channels? Or is when Dahlia takes over somebody, they then get stabbed? So maybe Misty ends up channeling Dahlia first? Is that what's happening? I'm trying to think of a way, because, like, there's no way they would ruin, quote-unquote, Pearls and Maya. 
Chat, they make too much fan money from it. <laughs> that, that's my meta guess. I don't have an in-game reason to believe that, but my meta guess is they wouldn't let them do that. So I'm maybe okay, so let's let's with the meta, maybe it's Misty that channels it, but then who kills it still doesn't solve who actually kills her. I feel like I'm missing a piece. We'll continue for now. Something still doesn't make sense to me. So my hunch was correct. She does know me. Speed Loris. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll have to try and talk with her again tomorrow. Dot dot dots. Ah! What the? A blood curdling scream came from the courtyard. February 7th, 11 06 p.m. Azakura Temple Courtyard. That scream. I'm sure it came from around here. Ah! Someone's there on the ground. Miss Stonim! Squish. I just stepped on something soft. Hey, don't step on my tummy like that! Well, what are you doing lying here in the snow? I was passed out. What do you think? The blood curdling scream was you? For forget about that! Hurry up and call the police! Do you even have a phone in the main hall? Yeah, conveniently, I'm not gonna have to run the 20 minutes to the other one. No, we still get reception up here in the mountains. Must have a cell phone on you, right? I, um... I didn't bring it with me. Oh, you're useless! I mean, even Iris has a cell phone. We've got no choice. We have to use the public phone by Dusky Bridge. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Run as fast as you can! Yes, ma'am. You don't hurry. Iris will. Iris will. February 7th, 11, 18 p.m. Dusky Bridge. Huff, huff, huff. Why was she saying Iris there? Further than I thought. Bridge is just up ahead. I'll tell Maya what happened, too. Ah! Oh. Bridge be burning, chat. Dusky Bridge, it's burning down. What the heck happened? What are you doing here? Ah! Huh? What is it? Is it me? Don't scare me like that, Larry. I almost had a heart attack. My name isn't Larry. It's Larice. Larry, hurry up and call the police. I'm going to the inner temple. Don't be stupid. The bridge is nothing but a burning wreck right now. Listen to me. There's been a murder. Here. It has occurred at temple. But what? The murderer might have fled across the bridge. I have to make sure Maya's safe. But... but please... Call the police. I've got to go. Get out of my way, Larry. It's too dangerous. Nick, Nick wait. It must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but I still went for it. Crack. Ah! Nick! We can even more by the fire. Bring the old bridge's plank snapped and gave way. As I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded me. A final terrified scream rose up to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. Be continued. We'll do at least one more part. As I said before, we gotta pace ourselves. This is a long one. According to very light spoilers. Date unknown, time unknown, location unknown. Phone's ringing. Who could that be at this time of night? Beep. Yes? Edgeworth speaking. Edgy, get up! It's an emergency! What? <laughs> Why did he call the prosecutor instead of the police? What an idiot! What? Question mark? Huh? Larry. You know what time it is. It's not Larry. It's Larice. Larice Donim. Edgeworth dot dot dots. This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. I'll just roll over and... Wait, don't hang up. It's an emergency. It's Nick. He... He took a really nasty spill. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm not joking. His life is in danger. What? What happened? Tell me. Why didn't you just call the police? <laughs> what? Talk about a guy with bad luck. He may already be dead. Anyway, we gotta come back. You're the only one that can help. My Iris. My beautiful Iris. She needs help. Alright. I don't know what's going on, but I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm at the detention center. Please. Hurry. 
Okay, so we okay, so he's already at the detention center. Okay. Presumably being accused of killing somebody. Been one year since I left that country. Thought I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion. As if I expected anything to change. February 8th, 2.19 p.m. Detention center, visitor's room. You're late, Edgy. What took you so long? Don't want to hear it. Started a private jet to come here as quickly as I could. We made an international call. <laughs> um... Well, you should have chartered a bastard one. Anyway, just listen. Something happened to Miss Elise and Nick and... Huh? Say something, Edgy. Before I came here, I stopped by the hospital and paid right a visit. Yeah, he's living the life, apparently. Not saying you gotta contact Nexikin, too. And he said uh, that is totally not boyfriend's life is in danger. True. I believe I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. The murder victim was the picture book author, Miss Elise Stone Inn. She was found by right, and the head nun. The suspect is the temple's younger nun. And later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, broke and he fell into the river. The hospital says that he'll need at least two days of bed rest. Y yeah, that's right. You got it. Are we playing as Edgeworth for this case? Maybe. Maybe for at least one part. But they arrested her, my sweet little Iris. Here I was, convinced he was the one the police had arrested. Yeah, they got me on that one. I thought he was gonna be arrested. You got me, you got me. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? The things Wright gave me gave to me while I was leaving his room. This is the first. I said some nonsense about being able to see into people's hearts with this. And the other. He couldn't possibly be asking what I think he is. Could he? Oh no, indeed. I don't think that's how that works. I'm begging you. Iris' trial starts tomorrow. With Nick out of the picture, you're all I got left. The only one that can represent her. What did you say? You know, represent, defend. What were you expecting? What do you think I called you anyway? I'm a prosecutor, Larry. A prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who... Don't talk to me like a kid. Graduate from junior high, you know. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I... I mean, I heard a paper badge had no problem fooling an entire court before. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that is sad. Sad but true. Actually sad but true. How could this country's judicial system have fallen into such decay? Please, Edgy. At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. The right wasn't joking when he gave me this badge, after all. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. This court is a physical kangaroo, it's true. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I could be of any help, but... Oh, does that mean we're gonna go against Godot as the prosecutor? That's an interesting way of having Edgeworth and Godot in the same case. And we'll at least hear what you will have to say about the murder. Um... M M Mr. Wright, H how is he? Mr. Larissa said that he... he might even die. Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron. How could you say something like that? He was badly bruised when he hit the water, but he's otherwise unharmed. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever. He's drifting in and out of consciousness. Must be imagining things. This woman. I feel like I've met her before. Uh-oh. Talk about Iris. Pardon me, Iris. I'd like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I have the distinct feeling you and I have met before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I hardly ever leave Hazakura Temple. Hazakura Temple? What's that? It's a place where those who wish to boost their spiritual power come to train. You need to undergo, undergo some very difficult training to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go to that temple for that reason as well? 
No, I don't have any spiritual powers. Hmm. I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at that temple then? I... I've committed some sins. Sins that I need to pray for. That's why I'm there, and why I continue to train, to purify my soul. How ominous. Let's talk about the night of the crime. I want to ask you about last night, the night of the crime. All right. Helped to clean up after dinner, then went back to my room at about 8 o'clock. Later, I left my room to ring the lights out. Bell at 10 o'clock. Bell? We ring it at the same time each night. I see. And then? And then? I was told to go to the training hall, but... Went back to my room. And stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like you were asked to? I, I was frightened. Frightened? I just stayed in my room and meditated. Until the murder happened. There's more to her story, I just know it. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. Ask about frightened. You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go. Because you say you were frightened. What exactly were you so frightened of? Here is the side blocks. There we go. Only two this time. What in the world? Um, is there something wrong? I'm sorry, it's nothing. Looks like she's not aware of them herself. This must be what Wright was talking about. The Psycho Locks. There you go. They're not Psych Locks anymore, chat. Psycho Locks. Levy said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something. Any idea? So, do you have any ideas to what really occurred last night? I think it was the result of the tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes. Spiritual training has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual power. Edgeworth about to learn the hard truth that he got cheated in court. Oh, see, Chad also saying something similar when I look up. <laughs> yes, I understand. Most people don't. I'm certain that the thing that killed the victim was a human. So please, answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Miss Elise Donum? No. I'm not the one who took her life. Hmm. Those psycho lock things aren't appearing. Suppose that means I can believe that she's not lying. Huh. What's wrong? Can't believe what I'm thinking. Here I just finished saying that I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears that's about all that you could tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. Visited right at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. M me Yes. At the trial tomorrow. He asked me to defend you. Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth. Then I will gladly entrust my fate to your capable hands. But before that, I have one question. Yes? You know right. Uh... Well, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in our conversation, you would begin to act a little... strange. Mr. Edgeworth, what is Mr. Wright to you? Oh, you see how she didn't answer the question? He's a very dear and an indispensable friend. Oh, Edgeworth, he played you like a fiddle. It was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I... Deceived him. Five years ago. You deceived him. I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know what a weak person I am. That's why... That's why I thought it was best if he never saw me again. I wanted him to just forget about me without learning the truth. Hmm. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. Until he learns the truth, I don't think he'll ever be able to truly recover. Iris, it's not too late. You go to him. Tell him the truth. I'll defend you, but only if you agree to that one condition. 
All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get you an acquittal. That's enough information gathering for now. Head to the crime scene. I'm presenting my badge. Is that an attorney's badge? Yes. This belongs to Wright. Really? I'm actually a prosecutor. Oh, then why do you have a defense attorney's badge pinned on your lapel? Well, you see, I, um, I borrowed it. Is it important that she has that weird jewel thing in the center of her chest? It could be one of those things where it turns out to be like Amethyst, like the staff of the mother, to prove that she's part of the channeling family. Maybe that'll be a plot point later. Let's move forward to the suspension bridge. February 8th. February 8th, Dusky Bridge. Sure is cold, all right. So this is it, Dusky Bridge. Oh wow, it's you, Mr. Edgeworth. Ugh. Detective Gumshoe. Long time no see. It's been about a year. Where has it been longer? Doesn't matter, Detective. What does matter is why you're shuffling around up here. Oh, ouch. And there's that sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess. You were transferred by HR to the local precinct. A wise decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should be quite easy to guard. Heard you were back in the country and arranged to came all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. Even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. <laughs> wow, that's ultra convenient. Listen, chat, we're not gonna introduce new police detectives. Listen, it's not in the budget. Just write it, write it in the plot. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to make sense. Save that money. <laughs> gum shoe indeed. Like gum on your shoe. He's impossible to get rid of. You like having Edgeworth as our protagonist? You know, there's a spinoff series where he is just the protagonist. Maybe we'll discuss if it's worth investigating those games. Pun partially intended. I'm supposed to report on the details of the crime, sir. I wouldn't complain, we get another cop like the guy with the loudspeaker, oof. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick Gumshoe, reporting for duty. Great. Um, thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Godot was gonna get here before me. That's a real mystery, I tell you. Prosecutor Godot. You know what, Dango? We were talking about that before. I I was talking with people where they had very negative reactions to that game, which I thought was interesting. Well, we'll talk about that when we when we go a little bit further. I will say, Investigations is not the worst Phoenix Wright game that I've played. It, it, so far, we went through that already. That was game number two. Like that was indisputably much worse than any other game. I guess we'll talk about what happened. <laughs> I understand why people criticize the first investigation game. I've never played the second one. Parameter saying there's two. I'm aware there's two. Although I think the other one needed to be translated or something. I don't remember that coming out in English, but people like translated the game and, and like, maybe we'll play a patch version of it or something. Just got back into the country, so don't really know much about the case. It's simple. Well, simple is as simple it does, as they say. Oh, you've got no idea how much I miss that biting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. Bikini lady, here. On this freezing cold mountain. Yeah. I'm on the I would be willing to play it category. I think I'd be okay with the replay of the first game. I've never played the second one though. Well, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. 
for people that are more into the Phoenix Wright series, does do the investigation games take place before or after the next set of Phoenix Wright games? Just curious. <clears throat> anyway, let's re-read the line. We'll, we'll focus on the plot again. Well, you should talk to your, yourself if you want the details, sir. I have to talk to this bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. Let's ask about Dusky Bridge. So this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yup, I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look before you cross. It's how it goes, right? Oh, they are? Okay. Because I don't know if I really want to continue to Apollo Justice. That, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> if it was after, I'd be like, uh... I'll think about Apollo Justice. I'll think about it. Or was that leap? And? Is there something on the other side? Yeah, some old building they call the Inner Temple. But we can't get over there now without a bridge, sir. What? Nobody lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone was at the Inner Temple doing some training. Now they're stuck there. Actually, this begs a very interesting question while we're being sidetracked by things. Why is Prosecutor Godot here? What, are they going to give us an explanation as to why he's here? Because we, we presumably traveled. I'm assuming we're not going to even potentially be in front of the same judge either. I wonder if we're going to be in front of the Canadian judge again. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, heard that from right. It's Maya Faye. Oh no, her again. Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. <clears throat> No one's going to be able to reach the Inner Temple until tomorrow, sir. Should be all right in this cold. <clears throat> Excuse me. So how did this bridge burn down anyway? I was given the impression this place was not near the other court place. I mean, maybe it's closer than I think. That's not a plot point. We're almost 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning? Let's ask about Prosecutor Godot. Who is this Prosecutor Godot? Never heard of him. Yeah, he's a new guy. Showed up after you left the country. Oh, so he's conveniently a defense attorney who becomes a prosecutor, and we're a prosecutor that becomes a defense attorney. Look at that, chat. We're all just switching roles. It's at least like musical chairs in the courtroom. At one point, we'll get to be the judge. He's a complete rookie, but nobody can say a bad word about the guy. What kind of man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently, but he's good, sir. Real good. <clears throat> he's so good. How is it that I've never heard of him? Is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is. After all, you know who is right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Wright, of course. For some reason, Godot's really got it in for Mr. Wright. Oh? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of grudge. And what would be the cause of this grudge? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. None of this is making any sense. Better look into this Godot myself. Let's ask about the lightning. You're telling me the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning. Yup. Last night it snowed for the first time in three days. Thank you, Calvishim, for the support. Hope you're doing well. It's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowfall like that. But according to the weather data, lightning definitely struck. Weather data added to the court record. Original weather report for the night of the crime. Hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. Even as the exact time the lightning struck the bridge. Eagle Mountain weather report for February 7th. Snow with occasional lightning strikes. Snow... 7 to approximately 10 to 50. Lightning, 10 to approximately 11. Lightning struck Dusky Bridge at 10.45, around 30 minutes past between the fire starting and going out. Interesting. They're saying none of this is making any sense. Poor Edgeworth forgot what series is in. That's true. Nothing really makes a lot of sense in the Phoenix universe. Oh, that? We got that information from the witness's testimony. Someone actually saw lightning hit the bridge. Who is this witness? Sorry, I'll go ask one of the local cops later, sir. 
I mean, it's gonna be Larry. He's gonna have a picture of the bridge. Let's see, is there anything else I could do here? Oh, I could go to the main gate. Let's do that. February 8th, Hasakura Temple, main gate. Yo, Edgy, what took you so long? I'm so cold, my brain's turned to sherbet. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. W what do you mean? Right is gonna be fine. The case itself isn't anything unusual. I find myself taking a request to defend a woman accused of murder. Hey, wait a second! Hold it! Objection! What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um... It's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney? Prosecutor Edgeworth is a prosecutor, and that's why he's Prosecutor Edgeworth. Classic one comes to. Prosecutor Edgeworth, defense attorney, just sounds plain old weird, pal. Right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. I don't think the writers know either. Mm. Dude, edgy. I don't see you for a couple years. Her turns to Sherbert. Say it more like Sorbet. It's rather cold here. Iris didn't murder her. Someone else did. I just know it, okay? So just trust me on this one. Ever the romantic, aren't you, Larry? Objection, says the chat. Nevertheless, do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least until I pass the baton on to right, that is. Ask about Iris. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? Edgeworth dot dot dots. What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could it be the reason you think she's innocent? Come on, a girl that cute can't possibly be a murderer. Dot dot dot. I was right after all. Should never have come back. Oh. Did Calvisham have a comment in his subscribe thing? Because I can't read those. Oh, he asked, is this new? I don't know if it is. Because that doesn't pop up on the on-screen chat. Uh, no. This game came out in, like... I think we talked about it last time, like, 2008 or 2009. The trilogy on Steam came out at least two years ago, I want to say, maybe three. But this game series, this game itself is very old, and there's multiple versions of some of the games in the trilogy. No, no, don't worry. See things for how they really are this time. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant the 24 months, I'm sure that already happened. Oh, never mind. I hope you're doing well, Calvisha. <clears throat> Let's try this again. No, no, don't worry. I see things for how they really are this time. Honest. I had a penny for every time he said that. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. Can't force things too much, know what I mean? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh, uh, forget it. I didn't say anything. We're just confused. Night of the crime. Larry, where were you, and what were you doing on the night of the crime? I mean, he's holding what he was doing in his hand. Dot, dot, dot. Larry? What? Don't tell me. You think I might have done it? What? Get lost. Go back to your charter gen and get out of my sight, you creep. Hope your plane crashes and you die. <laughs> wow, that, that, that escalated real fast. Chat, that went from like 0 to 10. Like two dialogues. Wow. Even Blue Dawn is confused. Dot dot dot. Well, that's just one more time. On the night of the murder. Where were you and what were you doing? That's hurtful, so remote battery. That was brutal. Uh oh. We have we have psycho locks, quote unquote. As I suspected. Psycho locks. Sorry man, you know me, I just don't remember. Church of Memory is a wreck, dude. Alright, so we still can't do anything with any of those. Let's go to the main hall. 
So far, we haven't really picked up any evidence, so I don't know how we're going to break these. <sighs> hey, hello there. Um, how are you feeling? Alright, I suppose. Huh? Who is this? Hi, my name is... Miles Edgeworth. My, my, a handsome boy such as yourself is always welcome. Ah, oh, the circumstances were, weren't so tragic. I might just... Please don't call me boy. I'm sorry to trouble you. But I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. There we go. Well, you found her. And what can I do for you? Edgeworth dot dot dots. Be off on a flight with Boeing. That's equally as terrible. I'm sorry. But I don't see any bikinis. Oh boy, I gotta read this next line. <laughs> you ask nicely, I might give you a peek, big boy. Whoa! Um, Mr. Edgeworth? This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Chat with the I hate it. This is exactly why your salary keeps get on getting cut. Ugh, my stomach is already growling in protest. Oh, I didn't hear the sound effect that time for myself. I have to double check that. I heard it earlier. Maybe it's just the scene is messed up. So, um, what's the latest about my beloved Iris? Well, first, I want to hear what you know. All right, before we do that, I forgot something. Oh, we could go to the courtyard with the murder. Hmm. I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe we scared the poor kid away. His heart was shut tight with the number of psycho locks. Just have to look for him for now. What a thorn in my side. I actually made a mistake there. I don't know if this will make a difference. We'll make another save, actually. In case I want to come back and do it. Um. Put it down here for now. Oh, well. So, I was supposed to talk to him again. I forgot to show him our badge. It is actually needed for an achievement. I'm assuming it doesn't matter when I do it, but I guess we'll find out. I guess as long as he's back at some point, it should trigger. Give me one second, Chan. I want to see if I can do the sound thing. monitor. Should have heard that. Oh well, not much I could do about that at the moment. I want to try one thing. See if it lights up on my side. Give me one second. Spin, spin! Huh, I heard that one. Maybe because I toggled it? Maybe that's all I needed to do? Oh well, we'll continue. Let's ask about the night of the crime. First, I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, last night, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. You must be talking about Maya. Approximately what time was that? Suppose it was about 9 o'clock when we left here. Training lasts all night long. Extremely exhausting. The channeling dojos had none must be in attendance at all times to keep watch. Wow, you're right. That does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard. But your duty was in the inner temple. Why did you come back here? Hmm. The way you're staring at me, I'm starting to get goosebumps. <laughs> Ugh. I'm starting to get goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. Oh. You get the chills pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Edgeworth? What you saw? All right, then. I need you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. It must have been past 11. Oh, no. I can't say it. It's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. 
Let go of my tie. I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. The other one was stabbing her from the back. With the sword. Hmm. The way they're kind of bent, it kind of looks like she's pulling the sword rather than pushing the sword. And I guess maybe... It's just kind of like an awkward angle, do you know what I mean? Bruce says, did you see this criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. But it was Iris. I must have been quite shocked. Of course she was. Try putting yourself in her shoes. It'd be like if you were stabbing Mr. Wright smack in the middle of the courtroom. Having to witness it from the witness stand. Be pretty shocked too. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. When I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed, and then I passed out. Fortunately for us, testimony seems to be pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Unnatural. The girl I know simply isn't capable of this sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. That's why I return. That nun, it's your duty to stay with the accolade at all times, correct? Yes, that's correct. You know I may look strong, but the truth is I got a bad lower back. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter. So bad that I can't even lift a bucket. Remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. You left the disciple all alone? Don't be ridiculous. I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple after she rung the bells for light out. Yes. She never went to the inner temple, did she? Did this head nun actually see Iris there? I think I better try to get some more details. Ask about the accolade. Who is this acolyte that was to train at the inner temple? Her name is Maya Fey. I treated her very badly, I'm ashamed to say. After she went through the trouble of signing up for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 times. You don't mean to tell me she's still doing that at the over at the inner temple, do you? No, 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 of course not. You don't have to worry about that one little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, that's good to hear. Oh dear, dear, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. Whoa, I don't think I like the sound of this. You know that small girl. I believe she's Mystic Maya's little sister. As a little sister? Oh, you mean little Pearl. That's Maya Faye's cousin. Little Pearl? I thought she was going to visit Mystic Elise after we finished with our dinner clean. But I haven't seen her at all since last night. She's nowhere to be found. You mean she... She's, she was with the victim? It's all the fault of my stupid, creaky old back. The little girl who was with the victim on the night of the murder is gone. As they say, the plot thickens. Hmm. I think we've gotten all we could get there. He's not back yet. Whatever. So for people looking for the achievement, you have to talk to him before you talk to this person. But I'll still try to talk to him and present it afterwards. We'll probably get the cutscene, but probably not the achievement, sadly. February 8th, Hazakura Temple, Courtyard. And this is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything else untouched. Thanks, Detective. Just have to look around. Looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way... Thought I'd better ask, just to be sure. Are you really gonna offend that nun at Iris at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through with my commitment. Well, in that case, I've gotta be careful. Gotta make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will flow out on its own. 
Dot, dot, dot. You got it, sir. Make sure it flows out like water from a tap. Yes, you do that, detective. Just how much has your runny spout leaked over the years? Talk to him, the victim. Hmm. The victim is the famous picture book author, Miss Elise Donu. Her entire past up until she won that writing award last year is a total mystery. It's hard to believe in this day and age you could still find people like that. The estimated time of death of the victim was between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. The cause of death was blood loss resulting from a stab to the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered with a giant sword, sir. Uh, that's terrible. Yeah, but there's one strange thing. Yes? The victim's entire body was covered with bruises. Bruises are consistent with falling from the height of a two-story building. Well, that's weird. Two-story building. Would be about the same height as that room in front of us, correct? Hey, you're right. Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth. That just happens to be the room that Miss Elise Donum was staying in. Maybe she was pushed out the window after she was stabbed by the sword. This is autopsy report added to the court record. Body fell 10 feet after death. Interesting. That's what happened. Now then, detective. Let's see if we could summarize what we've learned so far. Okay. Let's take a look at the map. According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, they had none. Right after they finished dinner, she and Maya headed to the inner temple. Oh yeah, intense circle action. 10 p.m. After ringing the bells for lights out, Iris went to the inner temple. Uh, but we know that didn't happen, allegedly. When she got there, Bikini had her take over while she was went back to Hasakura Temple. Then got a hot bath to soothe her back. Hold on a second. No, not that. Oh, we don't have that photo from earlier. That kind of sucks. I didn't notice if uh, the other character had a hood or not. But oh well, whatever. You're taking a hot bath to soothe her back. Sister Bikini witnessed the murder in the courtyard. We want more details. She's asked Bikini herself in the main hall. In her temple, huh? Some more information about that place. Tomorrow's trial. The trial begins tomorrow, but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's that Godot guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? Really weird. All of a sudden, no one can reach him. Hmm. What if the rumors are true? Oh, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Wright caught a cold and won't be defended, you just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in the role of the defense attorney. However, I'd be quite unhappy if it came out that I'm actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why. But I'm not the one you have to worry about. I think the real problem is going to be that judge. He's senile. He doesn't know anybody from anybody. It'll be fine. Yes. Certainly would remember my face. Even after such a long absence. I mean, he didn't really recognize Phoenix. I think he'll be fine. That's why I requested that another judge preside over the trial tomorrow. Okay, we are getting the Canadian judge. <laughs> only met each other once. Oh, we've only met each other once. There's a good chance he won't remember me at all. Yeah, but... What about the prosecutor? Someone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone there made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. Hold a few strings and arrange for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea you had such a powerful string to pull. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did he ask? Oh, please tell me he didn't pull in that other prosecutor. Oh, no. All she does is whip things. 
Oh, uh, please don't pull her into this case. I really don't want her here. I really don't want her here. Inner temple. What is this inner temple that Maya was supposedly training at? According to Bikini, it's an old building they use for training the Acolytes. It's on the other side of Dusky Bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of that bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Nothing. The other side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. In a way, it's kind of like a little island out there. So, the only thing there is the inner temple. Here it's not the kind of place a person could survive in. Please be alright, Maya. Examine. We need the murder weapon. So, the sword from this gold statue is actually the murder weapon. It sure is. It's called the Shishitsu. So I don't I remember how to say it. Anyway, it's the seven branch sword. It's called the seven branch sword, by the way. Nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. Plus, this is the victim's blood. Yup, it's all over the blade. And speaking of all over the blade, there are fingerprints all over the hill of the sword too. Fingerprints? Naturally, they match the prints we got from the younger nun, the defendant. Her fingerprints are all in the murder weapon. Chi Shito. Sure. My brain will not recognize those letters in that order if I go to pronounce it again. Sorry. Just one of those things. What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. Is this how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? Yeah, I figured it doesn't really. I figure it doesn't really feel good. To be honest. It feels more like it's detrimental to your health. Anyway, the sword added to the court record, the apparent murder weapon, has the victim's blood and the suspect's fingerprints on it. Go to the staff. There aren't any clues here. Oh, I must have missed him slightly. What's this? Looks like a wizard's staff. And interestingly, the amethyst is missing from it. It belongs to the victim, Miss Elise Donu. There's nothing strange or magical about it. Oh yeah, listen, this is just between us, okay, sir? Yes, what? This is top secret stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. All right. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. Wow. I would dot 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 that too. Or dot dot dots. That's it? That's what you wanted to tell me? That's it! The staff was made from very a very strong kind of wood. What about fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims. Carried by Elise when she was alive, has her fingerprints on it, added to the court record. Lantern. I suppose they light it at night. There's something elegant about the light of a fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight. Detective. Can you not afford to pay your electricity bill? How how did you know? Poor Gumshoe. Oh, there's a ladder. Main gate must be just over that stone wall. Ah, oh, stone walls. Jumped over a few of those in my time. Gumshoe's our Maya. We're stuck with them, aren't we? Give him Magatama. Let me come help, maybe. Most of them are good memories, but not all. Detective. Perhaps someone should introduce you to the concept of... City of words? I don't think I've ever heard that phrase. Let's learn something new today, chat. Presence of something only in small or insufficient quantities or amounts. Scarcity. Ah, oh, I just love skiing. Really? Don't, um... Seem like... Oh, you don't, um... Seem like the type. Well, what about sleds? 
Oh, excuse me. What about sleds? Sleds? Nah, they're a little too kiddy, you know? That's just with my hard-boiled image. I I don't think I've ever seen that word used before, so that's new for me. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? I is the world starting to go mad? Starting? It's already too late, Edgeworth. Main Hall of Asakura Temple is above us here. Hey, you're right! But I'm pretty sure the main hall didn't have a second floor. Asakura Temple was built on a steep part of the mountain. Front and back of the main hall are on different levels. Oh, that makes sense! Wouldn't it be easier just to build the place slanted, sir? I fail to see how we can consider that to be an even remotely good idea. Uh, so we don't have anything else to investigate. I guess with what we have here, we have enough. Also, notice there's like a little indent on the floor. We're not talking about that. What is this? I'm gonna ignore the snow outline, I guess. Go back to the main hall. Go to the... Oh, not the courtyard. He's not here. Looks like the snowmobile was used. Most of this type of thing is necessary up here in the mountains. Say, this gave me a great idea. Something tells me he's gonna tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. I got an idea for a brand new invention. It might even make me rich. An invention? Yeah, a car that can travel on snow. Call it a snow car. What do you think, sir? Did you go for a ride on something like that? Only after you take the first 1,000 test rides. See a small bell tower from here. Hey, that just reminded me. Something I've always wondered about. Something tells me he's going to tell me what's on his mind, whether I like it or not. Call a person who tells a lie a liar, right? Why don't we call a person who rings a bell a beller? Or truer for a guy who tells the truth. Oh man, I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. I had no idea he was such a deep thinker. <laughs> there we go, chat. Kate looks quite old. Strong enough to resist the weight of time. That's the Mr. Edgeworth I know. You've got a real flair for words, sir. I've always appreciated this kind of old, timeless elegance. That's exactly how I feel, too. <laughs> Suddenly, Miss Maya, oof. Take this coat, for example. Like a fine wine, it gets better with age. Even fine wine turns to vinegar. Begins to stink at some point. Just you watch that atrocious rag you call a coat, detective. Oof. I guess we'll just move. Do I have enough information? Oh, I'm not allowed to leave? Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we had to go from here to go back here. Oh, that's right, that's right. February 8th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Hmm. We have enough to talk to her about anything. I feel like we're missing something. I mean, I'll talk to her just because, in case I need to get a little further. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth! I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I... I've already told you everything that I... Iris, please remember. I'm on your side. You tell me anything. Yes, thank you. Actually, I'm gonna change my mind. Let's go back. I guess I never really... We explored this room pretty well. I don't think there's anything we could really get out of this. I didn't look at the note on the floor. Maybe I need this? The more ends of cushions in the corner of the room. It's that white piece of paper sticking out from under that stack. Hmm. Beats me. Would you mind checking on that for me, Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir! Here you are, Mr. Edgeworth. Looks like an old manila envelope. Yeah! What is it, detective? Th this... This could be it! An ultra-important clue! A super special clue! 
I suppose I should read it myself then. Looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. Tonight at 10 at Heavenly Hall. Unless you want your secret to be exposed. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure what I make of that at the moment. This sounds like a blackmail letter. Perfect mayhem! Oh, thank you, Lidar, for the raid. Hopefully you're doing well. Down the main hall, maybe she dropped it. So... Elvisham said, I would never take someone serious when they say stuff like super serious. Well, let's be super serious for a moment then, Calvisham. <laughs> but uh, I think... Okay, so let's let's back up. So we're, we're building motive. We're going to figure out the case before we get to trial, because that's what, that's what a detective should be doing, as opposed to whatever the game is trying to make us do. So, now we have the motive, potentially, for why... What presumably is a twin assisted with some of these crimes. So I'm thinking maybe with the way that she's reacting to right and the five years comment, maybe she substituted out for Dahlia Hawthorne briefly so that he did actually date her instead of the serial killer. And then they swap places at some point. Maybe that's what the, the secret is here. So it added to the court record. So that would be uh, potentially blackmail in order for her to continue with this final plan. Nice going there, Mr. Edgeworth. Why can't I ever find clues like that? I've been something's going to miss her. I'm so tired, so I'll be lurking. But hope everyone's a good time. Well, hopefully you get some rest. An ultra-important prosecutor. A super-duper prosecutor. Well, I suppose it takes a super duper kind of dumb to miss a clue like this. There we go. Let's investigate the rest of the room. An altar with a giant Magatama enshrined on it. There's lots of candles lined up on it, too. You know, I haven't had my birthday party for myself in a while. Maybe you should blow out those candles over there to make up for that. Mr. Edgeworth? Would you mind singing happy birthday to me? Wow, this is just kind of a sad interaction chat, I'm not gonna lie. That is so sad. Stop that, cut that out. Please don't blow out the altar candles. That thing sure casts a strong presence over the whole room. Oh, Phoenix never leaves the hospital. We need Edgeworth full time, followed by Oof. This is the Lesser Magatama, a precious heirloom containing a great many souls. Huh? This is lesser. What is the greater one like? The greater Magatama is displayed in the main room of the Fey Manor. It's supposed to be shown at the Treasures of Korean exhibit. But it was so large they couldn't bring it through the doors. There's flowing script written everywhere on the walls. Man, I bet you had an awful nightmares if you tried to sleep in here. This is our main hall, so it's protected by a variety of magical spells and charms. They're all designed to prevent evil forces from entering. So if I slept here, the Oogie Woogie Boogie Man wouldn't hunt me down for eternity? Alright! The Oogie Woogie Boogie Man. Hmm. Does this guy think about anything other than eating and sleeping? Damn. Well, apparently he thinks about birthdays he's not having. Oh! The warm cat box. But where are all the cats? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what? It's called a hibachi. It's for heating the room. Oh, look at all these ancient straw frisbees. Those are a type of zabuton. Cushions called enza. Why are you giving me such a hard time? Oh, well, Mr. Edgeworth, why? Because learning something new might actually be a good thing for you, detective. Damn. <laughs> Edgeworth was like, no, no Japanese culture, you plebe. Just like slapped him with the knowledge hammer. <laughs> Just bonk. <laughs> That's fine. Let's move onwards. We'll go to the suspension bridge. Now I think I have what I need. Let's present the Megatama. Take that! 
perfectly common in America. True, true. I was frightened. Yeah, let's read the full note once. Iris Ahaz Hazakura Temple, salutation here. Something I must talk to you about. Be waiting for you tonight at 10 o'clock at the Heavenly Hall. Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. Perfect. Let me know she wasn't in her room. And now the wooden staircase from before finally comes into play. As I've been handed this case, it's my duty to dig up all the answers. Understand? Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe the case in a, whole, in a whole new light. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. That's why I'm committed to searching until I have those answers. Now then, is it really true that you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Yes, I swear. I already told you that. Yes, said you didn't go because you were frightened. Th that's right. If that's the case, then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris, I wonder, is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't even leave your own room? Take that! Take that! I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Ah, that's... Well, Iris, why? Why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of the blackmailer who wrote this to you, isn't that correct? Ah! Was it the evidence or the power of my glare that broke the lock? Oh well, I don't suppose it matters either way. But, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes? But the letter was just someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no one to tell it that would cause any would cause me any grief. Hmm. I wonder about that. Sister Bikini is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. Definitely the power of the glare, true. No, you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However. Last night was different. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there's one person you didn't want your secret told to. 100% Phoenix. Take that! Take that! Phoenix Wright. Ah! Uh. You mean, something to write, it seems. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want him, of all people, to know your deep, dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much, especially from a friend of his. After dinner, this letter was waiting for me in my room. As I said, I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hall the letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? like a broken down shack that no one would ever want to go near. Hmm. Where is it on this map? It's around here. To get there, you must follow the small path down from Dusky Bridge. Reality is, to get to the inner temple, I had no choice but to cross that bridge. But the thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking at Heavenly Hall. I... I was so scared by the whole affair that I didn't even want to think about it. So this is the secret that you kept locked away in your heart? Yes. Looks as though I may have to visit this heavenly hall now. I 
Maybe I'll find some sign of our mysterious blackmailer. In any case, still claim to have never left your room last night. Yes, that's exactly right. Okay, so... Okay, so I already think that Pearl is unintentionally helping the villain here. So if Pearl was instructed by the person that helped originally get the reservations to deliver a letter, she would be able to deliver it to Iris. So that would rule out how the dead person is setting up the crime. So this person is like truly the most evil mastermind of all time. If they're telling me that they planned so many steps in advance for the murder to occur. I'm assuming they didn't want to kill the mother. They probably did want to kill Maya though. I'm assuming the mother interfering was not part of the plans. Iris' testimony rang lights out at Bell at 10 p.m. and was then in her room until the murder was discovered. Because we never ended up finding Pearl either, so Pearl's location is still unaccounted for. So if she went to the Heavenly Hall, for example, maybe that would be the reason why. Anyway, let's continue. The trial starts tomorrow. I promise you I will win. Traditional American spirit mediums causing traditional American mischief, says Dango. So many steps ahead for the murder, they're committing from beyond the grave. Shelly to kill her can never compare. Yeah, this is getting this is getting pretty silly. I'm going to win so that you and Phoenix can see each other again. But when I do. Dot dot dot. Yeah, so apparently I did miss out on an achievement, so whatever. I, I I guess I could technically go back and see the other conversation. You must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. Inner Temple. I just finished speaking with the head nun of Hazakura Temple. Yeah, I mean, I'll just know. I, I don't know if I feel like reloading that other save, save I made earlier. Testified very clearly as to what happened. She said she saw you stab Miss Elise Donim, Donim with a sword. And one other thing. She said that when Maya Fey began her training at the Inner Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last, you claimed that you never went to the Inner Temple. Yeah, the problem is, like, I have to get pretty far back into the case in order to do that again. So, like, I would have to redo basically all the dialogue. I mean, I could probably skip through it if chat really wants to see that dialogue, but for me personally, I don't think I care. And yet, Sister Bikini says she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. But I... I didn't go there. I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night. Let's go back here. Go to Heavenly Hall. Oh, wow, that is horrible. Whoa, not much of a view down here, huh? Still better than the view from my apartment, though. Budana saying Gumshoe is a good witness. He's just a confident question mark. <laughs> there you go. That, that's, that's pulling into the depths of conversation there. Surprisingly, surprisingly related to Phoenix Wright. <laughs> wow, that is... <laughs> Blue Donna coming... <laughs> Blue Donna coming out of nowhere with that one. Damn, Blue Donna with the insight we just didn't know about. <laughs> Someone's here. Hide yourself, detective. Oh, why, why, why? Why does this always happen? Whenever I find a girl I like, they always run away. I can chase one of them to Japan. X is gonna be prison, I guess. I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll get me locked up for sure. Nah, I can't do that to someone who looks like he's down on his luck. He's just talking to himself. Shh, be quiet and listen. I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. Done that. What did he do, I wonder? Uton is becoming sentient, maybe. Hey, you! About what you just said, I got an objection! What the? Edgy, you dirty rat! Blair, gumshoe, you oaf! I'm sorry, sir. 
Before I knew it, I was shouting out objection. And in a loud, commanding voice, too. Even pointed with my finger. You've watched too many trials. I'm sorry. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. What have you got to say for yourself? Uh, I know, the one time I don't present the badge, it was needed for the achievement. So sad. Come to think of it, when you were a kid, you were always saying, when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer and defend people or something like that. That was a long time ago. But see, now you've got the chance to follow your boyhood dream for a day. Edgy, you've got to do it. You've got to save my little Iris. Ugh, exactly why I hate childhood friends. Let's talk to him about the Heavenly Hall. What is this little shack, anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. And why were you down here in the first place? Uh, come on. I'm an artist. Looking for a good place to sketch. It's a great little place. It, uh... It's, uh... Artistic. It's quiet, it's cold, it's got no power. Looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds a lot like my apartment there, pal. One thing's for sure. No one is likely to show up and disturb you here. So, can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? He's getting all buddy-buddy on us, sir. Ask about Iris. Listen to me, Edgy. You've got to do this. You've got to save Iris. Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute. Watch your mouth. Anyway, made up my mind about it. I'm gonna marry that girl. That's a big fail. Um, Mr. Edgeworth is pretending he didn't hear you. So I'm gonna ask for him. Have you already asked this girl to marry you? No, no, not yet. But I can tell how she feels by the look in her eyes. Oof. Blue Donna confused as usual. I like the Dogi emo for Gumshoe. I forgot to comment earlier. She's got this, I really want this man to carry me over the threshold look. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. Yeah, I'm sure he would, but not for the same reasons. I never imagined that I could marry such a beautiful girl like that. Yeah, no. Something tells me he would be shocked indeed. <laughs> yeah, there we go, Edgeworth. That's... I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what am I gonna do if she gets hurt? What is this guy trying to say? He lost me about a mile back. Hmm. We really want to know the answer to that. We're gonna have to drag him out onto the witness stand. Night of the crime. Come to think of it, you still haven't answered my question. Where were you and what were you doing last night? Aw oh, man, don't you have anything else to talk about? With that kind of attitude, you'll never be a ladies man like me. I would not doubt that too. Okay, okay. Chill out with those scary eyes. I got it. You really want to know last night. It's all something incredible. Yeah, you definitely painted it. Something incredible. Probably the lightning striking the bridge, and there's going to be a person on it or something. Yeah, yeah, but let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour you a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realized that I absolutely despise talking about the good old days, especially with him? Damn. Well, I think we have enough. Give it a shot, I guess. So I guess the question is whether I feel up to it. I guess looking at the time, I probably don't want to go into the trial. I guess I could fish for that one achievement. So we're going to make a save here. I have to redo just the beginning part of the investigation. That's not too bad. Just to showcase the other conversation. I'll save here for now. And then when we're done, we're going to save over the other save. All right, so let's try presenting and see what happens. Take that! I see the unknown ranger says Edward is married to his job. He doesn't care about being a ladies' man. That's true. So, well, sort of true. I mean, he did go on, like, vacation for a while. He just chose not to prosecute. The night of the crime. All right. Now you're going to tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk. Huh? That was a bit too easy. Yeah, anyway. It was awesome. Never seen anything like it. 
Around 10 o'clock last night, it started thundering. I've been sleeping. Not sure for how long. Suddenly. Sing. The world in front of me went white. Like I'd just been slapped in the face by my old girlfriend, Naomi. And then... And then... It was on fire. The bridge was on fire. Dusky bridge caught on fire. You're saying you saw it with your own eyes. Hey, why are you giving me the evil eye? I'm telling you the truth. Hmm. There's still three psycho locks remaining. It means he's still trying to hide something. By the way, Larry, where were you when you saw that happen? He went off to go think about his role as a prosecutor. True. Where, you say? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? Just answer the question. I was in my own room, by the main hall. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as an empty jar. The problem, I suspect, lies there. The, 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 there? W w w what do you mean, the, the, there? Edgeworth has resting grump face, kind of. Possibly you've seen the lightning strike from the room. I mean, I just present the app, right? That we got at some point? Just like that. I'm like, he can't possibly see the bridge from there due to the mountain and the forest. I just present here, I guess. Take that! Take that. This is a map of the area. Take a look around the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. What am I looking for? I think that should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees, and it's impossible to see the bridge from there. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? Well, how about it? How about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? Looks like it won't be that easy after all. You leave me no choice. I'll have to move on to the next step. You weren't in your room at the temple, so then... Where were you? Y you don't know that I wasn't in my room. Where was Larry, and why was he there? I've read the situation up to this point correctly. The answer is fairly obvious. Very well, then. Let's test my theory. The place you witnessed the lightning striking Dusky Bridge was here. It's gonna point at Heavenly Hall. Don't know where else we can put it present. The place you saw the lightning strike from was naturally Heavenly Hall. I mean, he had to have seen the lightning. Why would it be hanging out in this old shack? I don't know. Why do you have all your paintings on the shack? Why don't you tell us, Larry? It's freezing cold. There's no electricity, and it could fall apart at any minute. And yet he sleeps there. Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know there's no electricity? After all, it's not that dark yet. Ah, uh, uh-oh. I mean, he could have technically stopped by prior to that night. So, I don't feel like this is, could be... I mean, if, if Larry was smarter, this isn't really the gotcha that Edgeworth thinks it is. In other words, you just provided evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. Okay. I have to admit I'm totally impressed, Edgy. You're in a totally different league from Nick. That's nice. Now tell me. What were you doing at this cold little shack late last night? Hmm. That's what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean... I... I doubt I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna shrug. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't... I don't know French. I, I don't know how that is pronounced differently. Oh dear, indeed. Good thing Larry is an idiot since I see on Unranger Ranger exactly. I'm like, that's not fair. If it was Spanish, I would probably know it, to be fair. I do know other languages, just not French. Oh well. I mean, I'm assuming it just means like affair of love, like a love affair. Could it be you were waiting for someone? Oh no! You really are one scary guy, you know. I believe that last night. Waiting for this person to come meet you. Oh wait, did he actually present that? That would actually be kind of funny. I get Oops. 
Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to cancel. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel there. Oh, that's annoying. I was just leaving the menu. That was annoying. I must have double tapped it by accident. Are we really gonna have to go through this all over again? That really sucks. Well, I guess we'll speed run back to where we were. Oops. Yeah, I must have just barely tapped it twice. So sad. Chance says I know a little Japanese and a little German. Yeah, I know a, I know a lot more Spanish, so I would probably follow that a lot more than this. Let's just go back to where we were. And we're gonna present Iris, because, I mean, it's the only person he's been interested in. We'll get it back to where we were a second ago. Let's go ahead and present here. Take that. Take that! The only one person you'd wait for in a horrible place like this, Larry. I told you before. Don't call me Larry. The person you were waiting for was... Iris. Uh oh Suddenly feel cold all over, Edgy. No doubt because of my chilly glare. You think I got the hots for Sister Iris, huh? You have some kind of evidence? Got something that proves I was waiting for her? Or are you just guessing? This is where I draw the line and end this ridiculous little game. Here's the evidence that proves you were waiting for Iris. Okay, so slightly wrong on what the note was for. That's fair. I like a little bit of a twist. So let's go ahead and present note to Iris. Take that. Take that. Yeah, like I could probably speak some Spanish other than going in circles asking about how to go to the beach. But yeah, <laughs> it's just like one of those things. I, I, I know like bits and pieces of Japanese just from watching too many shows. <laughs> but that's about it. Here's your evidence. It's a wonder how an unreliable moron and a scary prosecutor became friends. Well, I think most people in the Phoenix Wright universe are kind of special. So I think Edgeworth had to lower his expectations based off of the other people we've met in the game so far. You called her to the spot with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh, hey, you get that back. You're embarrassing me. What are you doing with that anyway? It's not important. I misjudged you, Larry. What do you mean? Taking advantage of a woman's frailty like that. You'd be ashamed of yourself. Oh. Oh. First of all, what's this at the top of the letters? It says, salutation here. Well, that's what it said in that book. Letter writing for dummies. Not supposed to actually write that. See, I thought when that happened that it was Pearl. Like, I didn't make a comment at the time. I'm assuming because she, like, she didn't know how to write a letter. That's why it was there. So that's why I thought it was Pearl originally. Being asked to deliver a letter, but she didn't know how to write it properly. Not supposed to actually write that. Where are you supposed to write, Dear Iris? Ah, I'm so sorry! There we go. I guess we're done. Unlock successful. Let's ask about the night of the crime. So, you were here in the Heavenly Hall last night, weren't you, Larry? And you saw the lightning hit Dusky Bridge, didn't you? Sorry, Edgy. Sorry doesn't cut it, you scumbag, threatening a young lady like that. He gulps. Wait, hold up. What now, pal? What are you talking about? What threatening stuff? Oh, unless... Unless, coincidentally, there was two letters. In which case, that's funny. I'll tell you what, you tried to scare Iris by threatening to expose her secret, pal. What do you mean, threaten? When did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed. Sure sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail, in fact. Give me a break, it's a love letter. Have you ever been in love? What did you just say? My love for her burned so hotly, it could melt all the snow on this mountain. Uh oh What is this secret you mentioned? Come on, Edgy. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret love between her and me. <laughs> wow. Obviously, she wouldn't want old lady Bikini to know about it, right? About our hot and sour, bittersweet love affair. I would dot 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 that too. Alright. Then why did you send a love letter in a business-like manila envelope? 
Give me a break. Not my fault I didn't have any other envelopes. Yeesh. I see the Unknown Ranger saying, sure appreciate his friends, but it, the idea of fun afternoons drinking tea in his office. Something like that, I suppose. Then why were you so quick to apologize, pal? Because Edgy gave me that scary look of his. Dot, dot, dot. What's wrong, Edgy? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? That's it? That's what all those huge locks were about? I... I don't understand why you were so defensive. Well, I don't know either. Guess the thing is, shouldn't expect too much from a guy like me. Wow, I feel like that was fourth wall. I feel like that was such a fourth wall break right there. Hey, come on, don't let it get you down. Dot dot dot. But Mr. Edgeworth, this guy's still hiding something, I know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy said a minute ago. I really want to know, last night, I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. Larry? Well, what? You're looking at me like a hungry dog that just found a bone. <laughs> Laugh track? Oh no. Should I add that as a command? We've technically... We, we've technically used the laugh track on stream, so technically that would be a valid request. Oh man. The sad thing is though, I don't know if I have that sound effect on this computer. I have to go get it again. I'll have to transfer that later, chat. What was this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry. One way or another. Let's ask about this something incredible. I already told you, didn't I? Saw lightning strike Dusky Bridge. Yes, and I believe it was the incredible sight you saw. Now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. Well, what doesn't? If that's all there is to your story, your heart wouldn't have had all those locks. Therefore, Larry, I do believe you saw something last night. Nothing more incredible than lightning. What? When? Where? Why? How? Hey, what do you think you're doing? If you got anything for Mr. Edgeworth, I'll arrest you on the spot, pal. Uh. Ah! Wow, five locks. No! What's wrong, sir? <laughs> I feel, I feel like Edgeworth is channeling me going through like another series of plots. Does this mean I have to do it all over again? Why are you glaring at me like I'm next to be hit by a bolt of lightning? Just about had it with this Harlequin. I really want to drag the truth out of him. I'll just have to drag him to the witness stand. There we go. Oh, to be continued. <laughs> Edgeworth is channeling everybody. Okay, so the case is going decently so far. I don't hate it like some of the other trials that we've been in. So we're going to save over this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel. I don't want to continue. Let's go back to this one. I don't know if there's a faster way to skip through this. But we're gonna get the other conversation with Larry. But that's all we're gonna do for now. That rapid skip though, chat. All I need to do is get to Larry and then we're good. I don't know if I need to talk to the other people or not. Hopefully not. <laughs> I was gonna say, Chad, do you, see how, do you see how many times I'm skipping these dialogues? Come on. Using when removing mind pearls and giving it such as the protagonist due to improve the story. Honestly, I'm wondering if that was their inspiration for investigations, because maybe they got positive feedback. Oh, I actually got dialogue for trying to leave early. Going to a crime scene is akin to entering a jungle teeming with dangerous beasts. Before he goes there, Hunter needs to make sure he has plenty of ammunition. In my case, that am ammunition is called information. Alright, so we saw unique dialogue, I guess. Apparently the best way to play Phoenix Wright was not to play Phoenix Wright. I mean, I kind of wonder that to some extent, because they went into the Apollo Justice games. And then obviously there's a million spin-offs that don't involve Phoenix. Or 
I'm gonna complete these dialogues, and I'm gonna present one thing to Larry, and then we'll give a little summary. Originally, we did an MS Sky investigation game, but Kaplan said it, it'd be someone more popular. Yeah. I'm not sure when the timing of the fifth case was added to the first game. Like, did they make invest... How, how did that work? Maybe they were floating that idea. Because, I mean, it's related to investigations. That's why I'm bringing it up. Hmm. <laughs> I was like, damn, Chad, did you see me get through that dialogue? Get out of here. There we go. So anyway, we're back here. <laughs> Come to think of it, when you were a kid, you were always saying, when I grow up, I want to be a lawyer and defend people. Oh, he's not going to tell us the other one until we advance? Well, that's kind of annoying. Because we read that story. You're going to make me speed run to that same dialogue again? That sucks. <laughs> right, Chad? That actually sucks. Hold on. Let's see if we can speed run it. What is the game like for speedrunners? We're gonna emulate it. There we go. We're mashing through, chat. So we got the first story. Now I'm just committed. So we gotta get through all the dialogue chains. Fortunately, we didn't really have to present too many things to different people. We, we definitely have to get the note. Then we gotta get the dialogue out of the way with Gumshoe. Then we gotta pick up the two murder weapon pieces. We have the note. Then we could go back to her and then go back to the Heavenly Hall. We're testing my short-term memory. I don't think we needed anything else. I don't think I needed to present any information to any of these people. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, more or less what a Phoenix Wright speedrun looks like. Lots of dialogue mashing. Speaking of which, is there a way to speed this up? Check. No, I have full auto-skip on. Hold back speed. Oh, hold on. What button is that on the controller? Oh, there we go. Honestly, that's not that much faster than I was doing it. Whatever. <laughs> I love when it gives me keyboard controls that I'm not using a keyboard. Like, it's... I actually don't know if that's faster or not. Not really sure. I mean, there's parts where I see, like, the arrows because I'm not holding the cancel button. Maybe from the arrows it lags it, but I feel like some of the other dialogues it's faster for me to mash. dialogues left and then I think we have enough information to go interrogate her again. I'm just thinking about what the order was. Okay, that's faster. Okay. Need the murder weapon. Okay. So. Let's see, so ba, 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 ba. we presented the attorney badge to him, then we can go, what else is related to the achievement? Um... There's a couple things we can examine apparently that I didn't examine, so we might as well just examine those later. We already got the story from him, which is good. I don't know if I need to talk 
to him about this information, but I'll talk to him. Didn't take more than a minute. So there's one more thing I have to look at, and then maybe we'll get the achievement. <laughs> we'll find out in real time. I think without that, she won't appear here, so I think I needed to talk to her even though we don't need it here. Let's present. <laughs> this is like, it's like, what? Can you? I'd like to think this is like how Edgeworth actually plays the game. Like, he just ignores everybody and just instantly goes straight to what he needs to show. <laughs> like, he's just like 20 million times faster than Phoenix, right? We're seeing it from Edgeworth's true perspective of how he gets through the cases. Like we were witnessing earlier, this is your brain on Phoenix Wright, and now this is just how it actually goes out. <laughs> this is your brain on Edgeworth. And we're almost where I need to see to get the other achievement point. We're gonna follow exactly where we have to do the badge to get the thing. So we'll get one more conversation when we do this again. I don't know if presenting the badge again will give it to us, but we'll force him to do something to us. We're gonna come back here. But this time, we have to investigate the flags, which I didn't do last time. So between those conversations, we should get the achievement. Uh, examine. That's a horrible graffiti problem you got there, pal. You don't know anything, detective. This is art. It's an expression of my bittersweet, bittersweet love for Iris. Larry. You know what the difference between graffiti and true art is. It's how the artist himself defines it, right? Should have seen that one coming. Well, if that's the case, then all my lunchboxes are masterpiece too, pal. Etra <laughs> just comes to the person in the room and take that, exactly. <laughs> I like to think, like, every time she goes to speak, just, like, throws, like, five piles of evidence at them. Just the rapid fire. What is this festive-looking ornament? Yeah, this is from the Steel Samurai. Reminds me of art class in grade school. We used to have a lot of fun decorating the classroom with origami, remember? Well, I... Oh yeah, we were never any good at it. Really? Yeah, this guy was so bad he couldn't even fold a dollar, let alone a crane. Everyone tried to comfort him, but he wouldn't just sit... But he would just sit there sobbing. Really? Never would have expected that. Be quiet already. I'll never forget the shame of that day. You want a crane? And I'll make a perfect quarter-inch crane without a single flaw. No, Edgy. Nothing for nothing, but a quarter-inch crane without a single flaw is not easy. Yeah, that's quite a feat, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Ugh, that's exactly why I hate childhood friends. There we go, we got the achievement. And interestingly, I saw the achievement, but I don't think I saw it on stream. Huh. I wonder why Dungeon Drafters was acting differently. Let's go all the way to the Dusky Bridge. It's a pretty long but easy walk. I fell down four times on my way down here, sir. Oh, sorry about that, Detective. Eat four bananas and toss their peels on the stairs on my way down here. What? That's what I was slipping on. Be careful on the way back. Those deadly banana peels are still out there. Hmm. That's a real important piece of information right there, Mr. Edgeworth. There we go. This is the Eagle River, sir. It runs pretty fast, so it doesn't ice over, even in the winter. That iced over, Wright would have been in some serious trouble. You're right about that. He would have landed on the ice and slid downstream to who knows where. Not exactly what I meant, but alright. Alright, so I think that's all the differences. Oh, with the bridge. A little far, but I have a pretty clear view of Dusky Bridge from here. Ah, I still can't believe it, really. What is it, Larry? Huh? Uh, nothing. It's nothing. That's pretty suspicious to me. Something about that statement smells. You know what they say. Oh, don't put that again. The straw roof is totally covered with fresh freshly fallen powdery snow. Wow, makes a nice image, doesn't it? Always did like that rustic look. Heavenly Hall. I suppose it's an appropriate name in some sense. You got that right. Look at the bridge up there. The place has to be heaven, because that thing is hell. 
you would do well to remember, Larry, that this is a sacred place to some people. Okay. So we got all the additional dialogue. I guess I could save this version of our save somewhere. So eventually I'm just gonna save over this one. I need to reload our save at 2-1, but we'll save that for, I think, next time. I guess if the trial parts are too long... I mean, we did two out of five parts, according to the minor spoiler I had. That was actually a pretty good pace. Given we also started late. Let's chat. So yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. We'll save the uh, trial for next time. Maybe we'll even finish all the trial next time. I'm thinking, chat, what I'm going to do as well. Placing through an Edgeworth style, pretty much. I think we're pretty much going to have to... What would be the right phrase for it? I, I might come up with like a tier list thing. I think we should review in our final thoughts. Case for case. We're going to assemble an order of what we thought the best and worst cases were from the game. We haven't done that before, so I'm going to have to look into that a little bit. But I'm thinking it's like the only way to truly cover every single case. Because there are so many cases, it's very easy to forget some of them. So when we go into the spoiler section, I think we're going to break out the tier list. And talk about it a little bit then. But anyway, chat, I don't think there's anything else I really have to add to this gameplay. I think we'll talk a little bit off stream what game series we might do after this one. And then we'll discuss from there. But from the standpoint of YouTube, uh, better than the last case. Definitely better than the case before that. So this one is sort of promising, even though I don't like the subject. So, so far, not the worst case in the game. But you never know, chat. It, it only takes like one or two characters and they could just be like, boom, it's over. <laughs> but let's find out. So anyway, let's go say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next part.